state's favor. You're not seeing a great decline in the numbers, but you're seeing a flattening. Deaths still ticking up above 9,000, but new hospitalizations dropping to their lowest level. Hospitalizations are decreasing. The hospitalizations always are going to come first. The deaths are always going to lag. One needs to happen before the other one can. The governor says New York will reopen only with a coordinated regional and safe approach. The last thing we want to see is an uptick in that infection rate and an uptick in those numbers that we worked so hard to bring down. New York City's mayor continued to insist schools should be closed until September. This is not about um, legal or jurisdictional questions. This is a moral question. The governor says it's up to him and they need more time to decide. Inside emergency rooms, it's clear the crisis isn't over. I want to check in midway through my shift, and there's a lot of really dark, difficult cases being handled right now in the department. But in Mount Sinai, they're finding strength in survivors. Anytime a COVID-positive patient gets discharged, they would be playing a piece from the Beatles song, Here Comes the Sun on the Loudspeaker. And actually, at one point today, I did hear it, and it kind of goes like this. Edwina Kane considers herself one of the lucky ones. After a week recovering from the virus, she danced her way out of the hospital. Those doctors fought for my life. They fought for me. And they saved my life in an instant. And in a time where hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers are without work, the New York City health system is looking to hire. They want to fill about 500 non-clinical positions that would support hospitals currently stretched thin because of this crisis. Philip? All right, Kathy, thank you.